Every year, billions of people watch billions of trees change their colors. But did you ever stop and wonder why or even how? Let's find out. To really understand what makes the fall foliage so beautifully vibrant, we have to first understand what actually makes the leaves green in the first place. During spring and summer, the leaves act like a sort of solar panel, converting sunlight, carbon dioxide and water into sugars through the pigment chlorophyll. This process is called photosynthesis. But why is it green then? You see, all the other pigments that make the fall so beautiful, anthocyanins that makes the reds, and carotenoids that makes the yellows are already there, but we don't see them yet. And in fact, only a handful of trees like maple for example produce red or purple leaves. Most just turn yellow or gold. While chlorophyll captures the sunlight, it mostly absorbs the red and blue wavelengths, bouncing the green wavelengths back and into your eyes, making the leaves green. But as autumn arrives, shorter days and cooler nights tell the tree that it's time to prepare for winter, and less sunlight means less chlorophyll production. For the tree, it would be an absolute waste of energy to keep the leaves all lush and green. So, in preparation for the harsh winter, the tree now starts to break down the stored chlorophyll and pulls back nutrients from the leaves, storing energy like sugars and starches in its root, trunk and branches. These stored carbohydrates become the tree's survival kit. All winter long, the tree relies on these reserves to power its most basic functions, even while it's dormant. The sugars also serve another purpose. They act like natural antifreeze, lowering the freezing point of water inside the cells to prevent deadly ice crystals from forming. So, in conclusion we can say that the vibrant fall foliage is not just a thing of uttermost beauty, but also an existential process. Without it, these silent giants would not survive winter time. So while the trees might look dead after they have thrown off their last leaves, they are just resting, living of all that is stored energy and silently waiting for the circle to begin anew in the coming spring. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe.